So Kiki Palmer and her baby daddy Darius Dalton just confirmed that they've been messing with us the entire time and they're still together. Because my mom's a Virgo, my brother's a Virgo, my best friend's a Virgo, my grandma's a Virgo. Partner in crimes of Virgo, so it's just like, yeah. It's been a very messy couple of weeks since Darius got dragged on social media for shaming Kiki, but Kiki just admitted that they planned the entire thing to promote her song with Usher. So Kiki has been finessing us the entire time and fans are hella mad and dragging her for filth. And her baby daddy Darius Jackson hitting us with the Uno reverse. They were just on live together celebrating Kiki's 30th birthday. It is sweet to see them celebrating out together. Do we think they're back together or maybe they were never even even broken up and the joke is on us. Listen, when I tell y'all that Kiki Palmer situation is the most insane thing that I've heard in a while, and I'm not playing because it turns out that Kiki and Darius were playing a PR stunt and playing the whole time. Y'all know how Darius tried to shame Kiki for dancing at Usher's concert, right? Well, it was planned all along and they had been secretly laughing at all of us. So it all started a couple of weeks ago when Kiki attended Usher's residency concert in Las Vegas and Usher serenaded her like he usually does with his concerts. Well, Darius then took to Twitter to shame Kiki saying, it's the outfit though, you a mom. People were kind of confused about it at first because they were wondering if he was trying to pay her a weird compliment or if he was trying to shame his baby mama on Twitter for the world to see. But Darius made a follow-up tweet where he doubled down, basically confirming that he was indeed shaming Kiki. He said, we live in a generation where a man of the family doesn't want the wife and mother to his kids to showcase booty cheeks to please others. and he." gets told how much of a hater he is. This is my family and my representation. I have standards and morals to what I believe. I rest my case. Listen, the way he tried to comfort Kiki out the clear blue sky was kind of weird and he got dragged for being a weirdo. People thought that he could have been discussing this with Kiki in private if he indeed had an issue with her outfit or that she was dancing all over Usher, but he decided to jump straight into shading her online. This is something that Kiki's fans were not here for. Plus, what made it even worse is the fact that Kiki had previously talked about her relationship and the fact that she hated bringing personal issues to social media. Whatever that we going through, is we talking about that in the closet. Like we uh -huh. ain't nobody like, it's on some like, he's got a twin brother. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, I'm not discussing that. So yeah, it became a very big deal that Darius brought all this drama to social media and he got a ton of smoke for it. But y'all wanna know what the weird part about all this was? I mean, even weirder than Darius being messy online? Well, it's the fact that Kiki seemed to play right into the drama with some even more drama of her own, which is a little bit weird for somebody who claims to not like bringing personal drama online. The first thing she did was post pictures of herself from the concert in the same dress that Darius shaded and she captioned it. I wish I had taken more pictures, but we were running late and I'm telling y'all right now, if you haven't seen Usher, you must go. He was so fabulous. Now, Kiki also threw shade at Darius in a TikTok video where she used the sound saying, if you go act up, I'm about to link up. I'm about to link up. What's going on with me, sweetheart? So if you go act up, I'm about to link up. If you go act up, I'm about to link up. But she didn't stop there because she then decided to go ahead to create merch with the phrases, I'm a mother and Stevie to the BS, which was a clear reference to Darius's comments on social media. Now for someone who didn't want to deal with public drama regarding her relationship, she sure did do a good job of milking that situation for all that it was worth. But it probably also helped her case that the public already felt a type of way about Darius. I mean, long before this whole Usher situation, Kiki's fans already thought that Darius was giving very much hobo sexual vibes that he was having sex with Kiki for as a place to live. And they thought that he was just using her for her money. But plus, it wasn't the first time that he was calling her out because apparently they broke up a few months into their relationship when he shitted her on Instagram saying, if you aren't serious about growth, be serious about accountability. If you are serious about abundance, be serious about gratitude. If you are serious about intimacy, be serious about vulnerability. If you're serious about discipline, be serious about delayed gratification. So yeah, it wasn't hard for people to believe that Darius was being rude to Kiki. And like I said, he got dragged 
for days. It got so bad that he temporarily had to delete his Twitter. It got even worse when a girl on Instagram came out to expose him for sliding into her DMs and offering to fly her out, supposedly so that they could do the nasty. The woman exposed him by posting a screenshot of his message writing, not Kiki baby daddy in my DM. Now this got him even more in trouble with Kiki's fans and they started begging her to dump him because they believed that she could do way better than him. And after a couple of days, it seemed like Kiki did indeed dump him. They unfollowed each other on social media and Darius even went as far as to delete pictures of them from his Instagram, which was a bit petty and continued to push the narrative that they had broken up. But the drama didn't stop there because Kiki then hopped on a song with Usher that was basically a reference to the entire drama with Darius. Now, like I said, people felt like Kiki had been dragging the entire drama a little bit too long and this kind of proved the point. But if that wasn't messy enough, the song was titled Boyfriend and the song opened up with a clear reference to Darius' shaming comments about Kiki and her outfit at Usher's concert. Somebody say that your boyfriend is looking for me. But just in case that line didn't make it clear to everybody who she was referring to, she also said this at the end of the video. Yes, yes, yes. Hello. Hello. What time is it? Damn it, I missed the show. And I'm so tired. I have a mother. After all. Okay, so for somebody who doesn't want her love life being public, she sure was comfortable dragging it out publicly. And this is where people started to speculate that maybe there was more to the situation than meets the eye. And they started wondering if there was more going on than we knew. It was around this time that sources spoke to People Magazine confirming that Kiki and Darius had broken up, saying he's moved on and just wants to focus on his acting career and put the drama behind him. And as for how he's gonna co-parent with Kiki, this is what he said you don't have to be in the same household to be good parents but it turns out that this was all part of one big plan of kiki and darius according to an insider the whole kiki versus darius drama breakup was set up as a part of the publicity for the boyfriend song because publicity sells in hollywood and there was no such thing as bad publicity now if this insider is right this means that the drama was full gazy from the very start from the part where darius shamed her public and her numerous clapbacks at him. Now, if it's true, I have to admit it was very well planned out from the clapbacks to the unfollowing each other on social media to him deleting pictures of them from Instagram and all that stuff. She was even smart enough to make merch and profit off the situation. And honestly, I can't even be mad because that's some brilliant marketing, if it's true. And it looks like that insider was not capping about the drama being fake because Kiki recently spent her 30th birthday with Darius. She posted these pictures on her 30th birthday and people were talking about how Darius was gonna lose his cool when he saw her booty cheeks again on these pictures. So imagine our shock when Darius went live on Instagram to show that he and Kiki were spending her birthday together. Ding. Thank you for taking me out of my birthday as always. You know, we're, we're, we're... I mean, I know I say it's not always my birthday, but you always do take me out. <laughs> But I just thank you for making it special for my birthday. That's so sweet. He then confirmed that they indeed are still together. So yeah, it looks like Kiki and her men won and finessed us big time. They had to have been kiki keying and laughing the whole time. But fans reacted to this and left comments saying, Kiki Palmer and her men are a great example of why you should never involve your significant other in a publicity stunt, which makes them look weird because now her man will never be able to move on with his life because the internet now hates his guts. This the most Kiki Palmer ever been talked about, so I guess the publicity stunt went exactly as planned. But this other person thinks that Kiki is just trying to save face and tweeted, y'all think everything is a publicity stunt. Kiki Palmer baby daddy is your typical hating man who got in his feelings and ran to social media. She is your typical baby mama who's still hanging with her baby daddy. But what do y'all think about all this? Was it a really a publicity stunt or do you think that Kiki is just trying to save face? Let me know what y'all think about this messy situation and then check out this next video.